taking your $50 mic, your $100 mic, or even your $500 mic, and we're making it sound better. Today, I'm gonna show you how to get free VST plugins for your OBS studio, so you can have that pro sounding mic. First thing we need to do is go down into the description and download these VST plugins. So the first one we're looking at is TDR Kotinikov free download, and then download the Slick EQ free as well. Last one on this page is Nova free download, and then the second link, we wanna download the wider download for free as well. Once that done, we can hop in the OBS studio. All right, so with our VST plugins downloaded, now we can start adding them to our mic. So find your mic and click on the gear, and we're gonna add filters. Under filters, we're gonna go to VST plugin. This one is gonna be Slick EQ. Once you download the plugins, it'll automatically show up here and we're gonna click TDR Voss Slick EQ. Once that's selected, open plugin, and now we can customize the settings. First thing we're gonna do is change this over to live and we're gonna use the German version. Click on this EQ sat button. Next, we wanna go over to the high pass frequency and we wanna up that over to about 50. If you click and drag up or down, it's going to uh, go up or down for this. Over in the lows, we're not gonna to touch the frequency right here, but we are gonna switch it to a bell. Over in the gain portion, this is dependent on your voice and your actual mic. Uh, so you can play around with this to see what sounds best for you. I'm gonna keep mine at six decibels. Over in the mids, we're gonna change the frequency and we're gonna go down to 400 hertz. The gain, we're gonna drop a little bit down to negative 4.5. And then over in the high, we are changing the frequency down to five. And then the gain, we're going up to nine. And then you can leave this as is. For the outstage setting, we're gonna make this deep because we keep it deep. We're gonna change this to nine. And then for the output gain, we're gonna change it to six. You can go ahead and exit out of this application. And we're gonna add another filter, VST. And this one is called Nova. So under VST plugins, we're gonna click Nova and then open the interface. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this off. We're gonna go up here and change this to Eco. All right, we're gonna make sure our first band is selected. We're keeping it on the bell. But under Q, we're gonna make this 50.5. Over in the frequency, we're gonna crank this up to 100 Hertz. We're gonna leave the gain alone, but threshold, we're gonna activate that. And we're gonna decrease this down to negative 12. All right, and under ratio, we're gonna crank this up quite a bit. Then uh, 10 to one. All right, so we're done with this band. We're gonna go on to the next one. Make sure to change this to the bell curve. Under Q, we're gonna crank this up all the way to 1.5. For frequency, we're gonna up this to nine. Now this is adjustable depending on your voice, so whatever sounds better for you, make sure you get that. We're gonna activate threshold once again, and we're gonna crank this down to negative 25. Pretty sure we're gonna crank up a bit to 2.51. And then for attack, we're gonna make this 10. And then for the release, we're gonna make this 150. All right, then. so that's gonna be it for Nova. We can go ahead and exit out of this. And we're gonna add another VST plugin. This one's gonna be a Kotelnikov. Open the interface. First thing we're gonna do is change the size over to Eco. Over on the slope, we're gonna change this over to 6 dB. Stair sensitivity is fine. Over the threshold, we're gonna make this negative 25. For the peak crest, we're gonna crank this all the way up till it says RMS. Soft knee, we're gonna crank this up over to nine decibels. And then for the ratio, we're gonna go for 2.51. Attack, we're gonna crank up by two. And then release, we are gonna up that a bit as well. And then the last thing for this plugin is gonna be output gain. And we're gonna put this on three. Oh yeah, we are good with this plugin. The last plugin we're gonna add is wider. 
This is uh, probably my favorite plugin. Gives you that radio podcast sound, in my opinion. Just play around with this one. I usually keep my 25 to 35, depending on the mic I'm using. So 25 is a, uh, a safe bet. If you're monitoring, if you're monitoring your headphones, you are definitely going to hear a difference when you do this. All right, we are done with wider. Super simple. Exit out of that. That last filter we're going to add is called expander. Now the expander is going to help get those little sounds like the keyboard or the mouse clicks out of your mic. So this is very important to add. Oh, and ratio, we're going to change this to three, three to one ratio for the threshold. This is going to be dependent on you and your surroundings. So feel free to adjust this, but negative 32 is a good place to start. If you're still hearing those little sounds, you can always bring this up a bit. It's just uh, dependent on your environment. Attack, we're going to bring this down to eight. And then release, we're going to bring this over to 250. I put gain, you don't need to touch. And then detection, RMS, perfectly fine. So this is a free way to make your mic sound super crispy. Now this tutorial is for OBS Studio. Streamlabs, I try to do the same thing, but it kept crashing on me. So I don't think it works for Streamlabs, but if you can get it to work, then more power to you. If you want to know why settings are the way they are for these VST plugins, I'm going to link the video down below where I got all the knowledge from. I pretty much just made a condensed version of that video for people that just wanted to get in and out. If you found value from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll be coming out with some more OBS Studio tips and tricks to upgrade your stream. Appreciate you and we'll see you next time.